Hey guys, welcome to another episode of On My Workbench. This is a special episode because it's also an entry for Mokana Man's uh, competition, um, his subscriber competition. And um, I'm not entering because I want to win the prize, but because I think it's a very good idea to uh, bring the community a bit closer together with. Uh, with uh, competitions like these where uh, you submit a how-to or a tutorial video and uh, yeah I think it's a very good idea and so I thought I'll uh, do one of my videos as an entry and what I'm going to show you is my method of applying decals now there is a lot of ways a lot of people have a lot of ways to do this uh, and I'm gonna show you mine now what you will need for this method is some decal medium that's basically a decal softener I've got the Vallejo type here and um, it's uh, Mr. Uh, decal setter or something like that uh, is another brand and um, solver set uh, microsol uh, are fewer I can think, think of right now but I use this and I'm satisfied with it so decal medium it's alcohol based and it's a solution that uh, will soften your decals as the name says decal softener um, so that the the decal will lay flat and um, there won't be any irregularities or any air trapped underneath it or uh, some or water because that can lead to silvering and also if you have complicated models uh, with a lot of recesses and then um, the decal will lay flat on these uh, details as well. So decal soft, decal medium in this case. Then decal fix. Um, this is basically a setting for decals, uh, and in this case, it's just a uh, clear acrylic resin that goes on top of the decal. You also need some water, as we're working with water slide decals, <laughs> and. Um, I find one of these uh, manipulators, tweezers, however, um, very useful. They're reverse, they open when you push, um, and they're very good for um, submerging the decals in the water. And you'll also need some cotton butts, or some q-tips, or however you call them. We call them Wattestäbchen. <laughs> okay. So, and an exacto. Okay. What I want to do is apply a decal to my gym. And the place where the decal will go is this black area here that is uh, covering the cockpit. And it's very bland, and so I'm very happy that I have Bandai's decal sheet and there's a little decal here exactly for that part with a little five and some some lines and the first thing you do is you cut it out as easy as that now be careful um, not only because you can scratch the other decals uh, cut them uh, but also be careful that you leave enough space around the decal so that you can grab it with your pliers okay let's do it now it might also be handy to have a, a, a ruler to cut but in this case I'm gonna test my luck
Okay, put it on and submerge it in the water. That shouldn't take long if you have good decals. Some will take a long time, but the Bandai decals are quite good actually. Now while this is submerged in the water, it's starting to lift from the surface. We are gonna use the decal medium and I'm gonna apply it on a wet palette so it stays uh, liquid a bit longer. And apply that with a brush. Now one thing to mention uh, is that the model received a gloss, a coat of gloss varnish before I applied the decals. Um, I always put on a gloss varnish just to protect the paint because I'm working with alcohol here and I don't want to damage any of the acrylic paints that I applied. So it's always a good idea to protect your paint surfaces. So now I applied some of the decal medium and I'm gonna transfer the decal onto the model now. As you can see it's become loose already and I'm just gonna put it on there and you can already see that it isn't centered but that's not a problem because we have our decal medium and with a little bit of that on the brush we can move this thing around That's the on-camera effect, but it's working. One second. If it won't move, just add more of the softener. And just move it into the right position. And don't worry if you're not satisfied, you can always add more of the softener and move it around some more. That should be all right. Uh, at least it looks good to me. And now, with a cotton bud or a Q-tip, take away the excess liquid and push the decal to the surface. Okay, that didn't work, <laughs> so some softener again and let's correct it. So as you can see you can always uh, fix mistakes this way. 
and I think we won't make the same mistake again and just leave it to dry. Okay, I gave that some time to dry and it should be okay now. And what you want to do now is protect your decal and use the decal fix uh, or your the setting solution uh, of your choice and apply it over the decal. Just give it a light coat. and leave that to dry and that uh, completes my tutorial on how I apply decals now what you want to do once you applied all the decals and fixed them in place is uh, give the whole model a coat of um, clear varnish the gloss varnish um, especially if you want to weather your models because uh, with all the brushing and uh, applying of powders and what have you washes uh, you're gonna damage your your um, decals if you don't protect them so another coat of gloss varnish and it should be fine okay that concludes the my look at decals and uh, I hope you found it informative any suggestion suggest suggestions oh, sorry suggestions or comments please uh, under the video and uh, see you in the next one cheers <laughs>